How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to The Last Hero of Nostalgia. Uh, so today the DLC dropped, and as well, the game has been released on PS5 and the Switch. Um, we are jumping into the DLC here in our initial run-through. Um, quite a long story to share with you guys regarding this. Uh, by the time you see this video, it will be uh, tomorrow, so the DLC was essentially least yesterday so with the poll that was put out on the channel you guys said you wanted to see a strength build go through the dlc uh mainly mainly people selected the uh the funny uh option on the poll but anyway uh the strength build won out the luck builds but i figured we would do the luck build um now this door leads to the dlc here if you remember that's where we remembered the in the walkthrough, we remember the Minecraft uh, pickaxe right there. Um, so, figured we would do the luck builds here, considering... Leave here, hero. There's a project here you couldn't understand. It's Nostalgaia's one chance for a future. Please, go away and let us help you. I figured if we're gonna be doing a walkthrough for the DLC. I would rather have the strength builds uh, kind of run through the DLC and just smash everything on its way. Um, so this character does have uh, martyrdom penalties on it. Um, so we may get hit kind of hard here. To leave. But the, the, the criticals that, oh look at these guys. This is like a Minecraft village. Um, the criticals that we get, yeah, that's doing pretty nice, actually. The criticals that we're getting with the luck builds are pretty nice. So, um, I think the, the luck is gonna outweigh the, outweigh the martyrdom penalties, kind of, um, take away from that a little bit. Still See, gonna get hit kind of hard, but. Keep on moving. Never asked why. Oh, breaking everything with your carelessness so who's talking to us you got some health there apparently oh what are you doing oh oh did you see that damage wow okay um like I said we're gonna be getting hit kind of hard here Woo. That was some damage. So we got a lofty idea. Whatever that is. And another one. What what are these things? Let's see. I don't even know like what type of item that was. Alright, here we go. Move through water. Move through water quickly. Okay. Oh. Okay, I see why. That must <laughs> that must be all the water there. Uh oh, what is that thing? I think I saw these things in the trailer. Little chomp chomp heads. No, you will not make me a snack today, sir. No, no, not today. Oh god, that causes recursion damage? Oh, that's not good. So for those that don't remember or first time seeing anything for this game, um, recursion damage is uh, basically kind of nasty like Scarlet Rot uh, when the bar builds up all the way oh Jesus here it goes again the bar builds up all the way um, you'll your health will start ticking down um, pretty significantly too I might add fat rolling through the water here would use those items but uh 
want to like waste those yet. Chomp chomp head over here. These things are funny, man. Okay. We good? What? Hello? What? Oh. How are you doing, sir? I can see you there. Oh, Jesus, look at that. It's like armor, it like crumbled. You naked, sir. Lost all your clothes. All right, let's see what these couple things were. We got like an armor piece there too. Oh, it's a, it's a relic. So we have relics that we need to remember, new ones. I was wondering if they were gonna include that in the DLC. Nice. Now and then, let's see the other thing that we got. That yeah, was a helmet, I think. Yeah, bronze god's beauty. Okay, so that's a that's a relic armor set too. So we may have to uh, may have to farm these big guys up to get that. Oh, Jesus. Where'd you come from? You got me. Damn. Quite a few hits there, sir. Flashing me. Won't be flashed. Okay, memory of our corrupt hero. This is cool, man. I like this. This is like doubling down on the whole pixelation vibe stick figure thing. Minecraft Dark Souls. Essentially, that's what we're playing right now. Like I said, I don't want to quite use those lofty idea items yet to move through the water. It's gonna fat roll to each platform right now, I guess. So, anyway, uh, the story that I wanted to tell you guys is uh, so the DLC was supposed to be released at 10 a.m. this morning. It said on Steam. Um, I don't know if that got pushed back an hour because then after I checked it at 10 o'clock, it said 11. So then 11 o'clock came, looked on the Xbox store, uh, and they had uh, a deluxe edition, uh, deluxe edition up there as well as a written manifesto. Where is that? Oh, is it down here? Used for weapon upgrades. Huh. 
wonder what kind of weapon upgrades. Uh, so anyway, um, so the deluxe edition was up there uh, for the game and the DLC, and then there was a uh, an ad, you know a singular add-on purchase that you could make for the for the DLC. Uh, so which is that's what I did because they have the base game already. Um, so I'm I went into the game trying to seeing if it's see if anything's different and I had ahead of time I had asked um, the uh, the discord looks like another new item the discord for the game um, what the recommended level was as well as the uh, how to access the DLC and they were being all cloak and dagger about how to access the DLC um, but it, they made it sound like you just booted up the game. Full's gaze. Uh, another relic. Okay. They made it sound like you just boot up the game and uh, some sort of event would take place and, you know, you could jump right into the DLC. Um, so, boot up the game, nothing's happening. Um, running all around and I'm you know, asking them again. I'm asking them on Twitter. Um, and, uh, they're just being very vague, and, uh, so I, um, long story short, um, <laughs> five o'clock rolls around, and they say, they sent the message to everybody on the Discord server and say, hey, uh, uh, there's a patch on Steam and Xbox, um, so, essentially, what happened was, they didn't have a, an interconnect. What is that? Let's check what that is. Like a heart, something rather. Heart-shaped anchor. Return to the heart flow. Oh, okay, that's nice. I think I saw a beacon in here. Yeah. Hey, see, old man. Have gone off script. What brought you here? Curiosity? In many ways, these are the extreme parts of our world. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you came. I have the strongest feeling that there's something here. Something important for Nostalgia's future. I don't quite remember what. Hmm. No. No, I can't quite remember. There are holes in my memory, it seems. A piece of me is missing. Perhaps the answer is here somewhere. I will think. You go on ahead. I will... Okay. So, um... Essentially, they didn't have a uh, something in the game that it would interconnect the base game to the DLC until the patch was released. So, patch was released like right at right at five o'clock. Uh, prior to that, they did send me a message privately on Discord, and they said, you know, you can access the DLC areas by going to um, Spot Norshaft Village, and then over here in Warlock Wilds. Uh, so that's why I was over here at Warlock Wilds, because I was trying to access the DLC. So, then I was trying to... Man, I got chomped on again. Trying to um, see if an upda update would come down to, to the game, and there was nothing There was nothing there. I was checking for updates. It wasn't popping with anything. I'm like, man, this is, uh, this is super frustrating. And uh, I saw that... Just as a last resort, I saw that a bunch of my other, a uh, few of my other games needed an update. So I just clicked, like, update all, and pretty much right as I did that, they sent a message saying, oh, the the Xbox update has just been pushed. So I think it was, like, kind of coincidence that I had hit that, hit that, uh, that button to update everything. So game got updated, and I, uh, just verified I went into the game and saw that the door was open so here we are oh god oh. 
damn it. I forgot to, I couldn't change my, uh, back to my healing quick enough. That's still on the shurikens. But whatever, we're right here at the beacon. So honestly, that whole, that whole cluster was a little frustrating. Like, they're, they, people on the Discord were not being very helpful at all. And it seemed like they didn't know anything either. They didn't know that the, they were like, oh, why isn't it working? I'm not sure. And then I guess they, they must have talked to the devs and uh, they told them that, you know, a patch was coming down. So anyway, um, unfortunately, this video, you know, coming to you a day late. Uh, if I would have had my way, the game would have. Yeah, these are all our luck bonuses. If I would have had it my way, I would have had a video out to you guys yesterday for this, but it is what it is. So, I think... Let's level up Dex. Up our damage a little bit. Because of our... Because of our... Uh, martyrdom pen penalties, our damage is kind of low. Even though... We're hitting those crits a lot, which is good. So I don't know. I may may get up to 30 decks and then maybe might up our health a little bit too. Um, I should probably should probably up equip load too, so we can put on some heavier armor to kind of mitigate some of that damage as well. So yeah, like I said, the DLC recommended level is uh, level 50, they said. And I think they say that uh, because mainly uh, the DLC becomes accessible after you uh, cut the plot threads, uh, which is roughly like 75 to 80% through the game. So I typically finish up the game with like around like level 65 to 70 so. there are lots of these chomp chomp guys and these guys Get him, get him quick enough to get that back step. There we go. Okay, they are dropped, dropping these lofty ideas pretty, pretty good. So I may start using them here. Oh, Jesus. No, will not munch on me. So there's an item over there. Might as well equip these uh, lofty ideas to my hotbar here. Let's see how those work. Oh wow, that was beautiful. <laughs> and another one. Nice. Oop, another big boy. Oof. Man, I don't know why you keep flashing me. I don't want to see all that. Gotta fix your armor. It's pretty brittle. It's crumbling. People stab you in the back. Oh, so we're... Yeah, we're back over here. Okay. came down there. I wasn't going to deal with you, but now I will. Another overwritten manifesto. Curious to see what those do. Yeah, 
this place is uh, pretty big. Lots of scattered items all around. So I don't know which area uh, we're supposed to essentially do first. I guess it doesn't matter. Like I said, you, there are two areas in the DLC. Uh, this one and another one you access near Orshaft Village. And then apparently there are three, three bosses. Items Out in the recursion swamp, just call it. Oh, God. Don't you come over here? I don't want to fight you in the water. Come on, buddy. This, this looks this looks like a spot where you'd remember something, doesn't it? It's kind of weird and out of place. Green air, all right. Chunk of tradition. Mm -hmm. I wonder if our weapons go higher than plus five now. Decisions, decisions. Which way should I go here? I'm gonna go. Grab this. Oh no. Eat one of those pills. Yeah, look at my health melting away there. Do not want to be in this water very long. Make a little run for it. Looks like something important too. Not sure why it's there. Spot to go up here, I guess. Big boy friends. Okay. Ooh. Old hands. Oh jeez. It's like <laughs> it's like the Minecraft outfit. That's awesome. Huh. Get my equipment weighed up. I might put that on. Kinda like that.
another little run across here. Look at you, making progress. We'll see about that. Oh. All right. You with the fire bombs. It's not appreciated. How can I get around to you? Step for you. Oh, you got a buddy. You know it, huh? Try. Something's over there. Gotta get out of this water. Come on. Go. Oh. Oh, what the hell? I can't. Heal. Thank you. I can't lock on to this guy. Oh, God. Get up there. Okay. Need to go. Oh, he reset himself. Yeah, it's so weird. I can't lock on to that guy. Yeah, I still can't. That's like a... Glitch or something? Got more heads. More chomp chomp guys. Get off me. And somebody else to munch on, man. Peace. destruction. Unlike you, I'm trying to actually build something. Can't you see that? Hmm. Of course you can. You're just choosing not to. What of a combination. Harp-shaped anchor. Let's see what that blood of abomination is after. More birds. Where you going, bird? Okay, come back. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna help you out because it's gonna take you a minute. So. So yeah, I'm liking this so far. Be interesting to see what the uh, the other area brings. Funny story too. Um, the the walkthrough character um, about. Five minutes after I finished the walkthrough, 
um, the uh, save file got corrupted. <laughs> so I, I went back to uh, start of a sequence um, to try and get the, uh, the trophy for the killing an enemy with the train. And I ended up getting knocked in a pit, uh, one of the pits there. And I never died. I just, it's like a blank screen, a blank white screen. And my, my dude never died. I tried to use like a fireplace stone to get back to the last beacon. And then like nothing happens. And it's just like stuck there. I, I can't, I couldn't do anything with the, with the character. So it, it just got, just got corrupted. It won't, it won't, uh, I can't do anything with that save file. So essentially, uh, this past weekend, I uh, broke the game out again to get used to it, and uh, I created, uh, recreated the, Jesus. recreated the, the walkthrough character. So uh, same, same build, same everything. So he's all set and ready to go whenever he needs to. This area is certainly interesting down here. Oh, hey. No, none of that. Damn. Missing the backstab. They're super easy to backstab, but they, uh, leave themselves wide open, but they do turn around pretty quickly. This corner, maybe? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Oh jeez. <laughs> uh gravity death number one. I was looking for another beacon or a shortcut, but uh looking at the time guys should probably call this one here. Uh we will start off where I left my souls at, so hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.